Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm excited to share a quick tutorial on how to streamline your event registration process using 123 Form Builder. We'll explore how to pre-fill a registration form based on the responses from a pre-event survey, making the entire experience smoother for your participants. Imagine you're organizing an event. First, your participants fill out a pre-event survey, which we'll call Form A. After submitting that, they'll be directed to register for the event using Form B. To enhance user experience and minimize repetitive data entry, we'll pre-fill some fields in Form B using the data collected from Form A. Before we start building our URL, we need to gather some information. First, let's get the Form B ID. You can find this in the URL. I'll refer to my notes to add this information. After we retrieve the Form B ID, we'll need to retrieve the field IDs which we want to pre-fill, in our case, name field, email address, and phone number, from both our forms. You can locate each field ID by selecting the field and viewing the field details section on the right side of the editor. Now, let's create the custom URL for pre-filling the fields. I'll put in the description the general format you need, and also a link to the documentation. Please note the bolded variables from the URL remain unchanged. Basically, the URL structure we are interested in are the words control and request. We add the field ID we want to pre-fill after control, and the field ID from which we pre-fill after request. Let's paste the link in our notes. First, we need to add to the URL the form BID. Then, we insert the name field ID from form B after control and the name field ID from form A after request. Here's where it gets a bit more complex. Since the name field has subfields, we need to add minus one after the field ID to pre-fill the first subfield. Next, we add an ampersand and paste the structure again, this time using minus two after the field ID to pre-fill the second subfield. Then, we add another ampersand and repeat the entire control request structure of the URL, updating the IDs for each piece of data. For fields without subfields, there's no need to add minus one and two.
Finally, our URL should look something like this. Now, let's go to the Thank You page section of Form A under the Create menu. We click the toggle to redirect to URL and paste in our link. Next, we go to Publish section, View Form, and make a test submission to see the redirect in action. We can see we'll be redirected to Form B with the details already filled in. That's it! This setup simplifies the user experience by reducing repetitive data entry, making registration faster, and boosting completion rates. It's also versatile, easily adapted for applications, surveys, and onboarding workflows. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and happy form building.